New report shows women are carrying the greatest burden in the housing crisis, especially black women. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Anna Laurel in for Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. The report's definition of burden means the woman is spending at least 30 to 50 percent of her salary on rent. Our political reporter Morgan Reiner has more on the study and who requested it. The chair of the Housing Committee asked for the study to be done by the Gender Equity Policy Institute. The head of the institute told me that now that we know exactly who is being impacted the most, all future policies should be directed at them. Lisa Miller helps women in the Sacramento region find employment. We've had uh, customers that were sleeping in their car, they're sleeping with their, in their car with kids. She said she serves mostly black and brown women and the biggest barrier to employment is housing. Grant just, just took this giant leap of, of one bedroom apartment is over a thousand dollars. We know rent in California is high, but why do women allocate more of their salary to it than men? I have some folks that uh, apply for a position, man and woman, and doing kind of the same job, and the man is getting more money than the woman, a dollar fifty more. President of Gender Equity Policy Institute Nancy Cohen said Miller hit the nail on the head. You know, women tend to earn less the men and they tend to hold less wealth. So that means they have less to spend on housing. But the list doesn't stop there. Women are more responsible for taking care of children and the elderly. They have less time uh, to commute. They have less time to be in the paid workforce. And third, she said sexual harassment plays a large role in the housing market. Here are some numbers. Nearly 60% of black women are rent burdened, 52% of Latina women, 73% of all single mothers are rent burdened. Many of the ladies that come in black and brown um, are single parents, and so they don't have that family support or that, that dad that's paying child support, and so they're really struggling. Um, uh, the welfare to reform, welfare to work doesn't really provide support if you're working. There's people I know that are struggling. They can't get any public assistance, not Medicaid, not food stamps. Miller said it's getting so bad her own employees are offering to pay for hotel rooms for women and their children so they don't have to sleep on the street. But it's a practice she's telling her employees they need to stop doing because there are just too many women that need help.